from now on, I'm going to use a new extension to format the JavaScript code. There is the prettier one. You can install it here, prettier code formatter. And then I have changed some settings and you can go there by using control and comma. And if you type prettier, then what I have changed. So I've changed the print width to 120 because I don't like it when it is like 80, it is too short and we have so many breaks in the code. I also changed to use the single quote, so I've checked that and that's it. So now, for example, if we format the CoreJS file with Alt, Shift and F, you will see that it will be, that the lines will be shorter, uh, but the, the comments will not have the same behavior. Prettier will not change inside the comments uh, section. Let's save that, let format that, remove these comments as we need to update them. So we will have a constructor. For now, we will do nothing. We need to return the customer services object. There is a class, of course. You can have two approaches here. The same one we have in the CoreJS by defining the um, methods like save customer. Let's imagine this method, or you can also define them here like this, and then equals to a function. So, sorry, and you can have your logic there. Um, by the way, the prettier uh, extension also puts the semicolons in the end if you miss them. So as you can see, I don't have the semicolon there. And if I press Alt Shift F, you can see that Prettier put that for me. We have the two approaches for now. I guess I will keep the same approach by having the methods inside the class. And here, what we want, we want to simulate that we are calling a service. Let's test that for now. And later we will call a real API but uh, there we will need to update and build some new files, some configuration files where you can specify the host, where we can specify the port, the endpoint name and so on. For now, we want to simulate that. So we will return a promise. And how can you do it? Here we will return a promise or so new promise. And then we will have a function without parameters, uh, with resolve and reject. And then we have the logic inside. And for now we can return resolve and then let's get an object and inside success and it will have a condition. There is math.random is less than 0.5 that means it will be true otherwise if random is greater than that five we will have a false value here this is how you can return a promise but we also need to simulate that we are calling a real api so we need to await some time we need to resolve the promise only after some time for that i will use the set timeout with let's say two seconds and then we only resolve inside this set timeout. Of course, uh, reject will not use it for now. Later, if you want to test um, some error, you can change resolve to reject and then calling this save customer function will return a promise that is rejected and then you can handle the error. So let's test this. So we need to go to our customers and Includes the services folder and then the customer services. I put that after core utils. So let me put that 
and then when we press save here let me put it and format it on create button click we need to validate and if it is valid we need to call the service so as it will return a promise we need to define that as async to use async await notation and then we have let me put let data from service and then a try catch block and i will have the data from service equals to await my custom service dot save save let me go to there save customer execute that and error it i will log the error for now and then let's just log the sorry the data from service and this new message comment that for now we declared a variable to hold the data from the service and then we have the try catch block to use the await keyword don't forget to, to put async in the function because to use an, uh, the await keyword we need async is like try catch and then after getting the data from this function that holds a promise we don't care about that we just need to wait then it will return something and we will go and print that in the console let's try that with some values here so if i press create then i have an error save customer is not a function customer services i forgot to create a new so if i return that like so i need to fill this again let me check press create yeah and after two seconds i have the success inside object and enter so we are faking a real api call what we would have also when saving something into a database through an api is that we need to get some params and set that then in the call request in our case we need to send an object so const json service request equals to an object we will have the first name there is this dot input first name value and it is an observable so don't forget to execute the function then we have the let me the last name last name value to wait input wait value birthday this dot input birthday value and then country this dot input country value the state this dot input input state value I guess that's all of them we need to pass it that we can save that and here we can also make the log of the params so you can see we are receiving that okay so joel and then okay portugal let's say porto okay and create we can see that we first have the params log because it is outside the set timeout okay and then after two seconds we specified here we have the api response it's not a true api but you got it for now we can also have some kind of logic here like const response equals to we will resolve the response we can also const random and then it will be random 
and then if random if you have a true value we resolve else we will reject the response and the response dot message will be equals something went wrong okay so if you have a true value that means we saved successfully and then we resolve the response as is with success otherwise we will also have the message here to fake the response so let's try it create and we have success false and message something went wrong in line 310 and the line 310 is this one inside the catch statement now we can use the message here we can get that here um, so if you have an error we will put the detail as the error dot message and not the string and it will be error so inside here we will have the message we can have an if data from service and the data from service that success is true then we will show the confirmation message saying saved successfully let's try it create ah forgot that now create let's see so we have here the the case where the random is less than 0.5 so we have the success equals true if i try to create again let's see if you have something went wrong so the undefined here comes from this console log data from service so as it is undefined we will not execute that we will only display this message saying something went wrong there is the message we are receiving from the reject function here so this is how you can handle it you also need to reset the options here or we need to press reset to clean i guess it is a good thing to have to create and if it is created with success or created successfully we reset all the inputs to the initial state on reset so i also want to call this to reset everything if i have a message so message will be displayed and then i will call the this dot not like that this dot on reset button click so we are calling the same function as if we are clicking directly in the reset button and let me save that and try it so some name some letters sorry put something and create and let's see so something went wrong we still have everything here let's try to create and have uh, always an error come on <laughs> save it successfully and then we have everything as in the first uh, time you open the customers page so it will create and reset all the fields